So I think I just realized that I don't believe in the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. I think it's just a lack of measuring tools or a lack of data, and I'll, I'll explain what I mean. So say um, a photon is a tennis ball and an electron is a basketball, and you're trying to find the position of the electron. So the way like experiments are done is they shoot a photon at an electron. So we throw a tennis ball at the basketball and the basketball moves when the tennis ball hits it. So that's the uncertainty. Like, okay, we found its position when we hit it, but now it moved. But isn't the problem the step in between where we're like looking through like whatever measuring device, isn't that the problem? Like, let me put it this way. Like if you can implant a microscopic chip into the electron and into the photon, Let's say you put it in the photon. So you shoot a photon out of a beam and it has, let's say this is possible. It has a microscopic chip in it. It hits the electron, or in this case, the basketball. And the moment it hits it, it has both velocity and position because there's not that extra step where you need to measure it with your device, right? Isn't that true? So isn't the problem the time needed to measure it with our device, if you can measure it instantaneously by implanting something in the uh, photon or even the electron or maybe even both, couldn't you then like completely remove uncertainty? I don't know. You guys let me know, but that seems to make sense to me. I guess what I'm saying is what if you make the photon the observer? instead of making us the observer. And then you take time out of the equation and you could take that measurement instantaneously and you could get position and momentum at the same time. If that's wrong, can you tell me below why that's wrong and maybe help me explain Heisenberg better because that's kind of how I understand it. And I feel like it's a limitation really of our measuring tools and like maybe maybe a limitation of um time passing like we can't narrow time down to as small an increment as we need it to be to take this measurement 